Mountain ringlets are to be found in slightly boggy hollows on the grassy slopes, especially where there are tufts of mat grass. This is where it hides, waiting for the wind to drop and the sun to come out. It's a pretty miserable day, but when you put your hand down in these tussocks of grass down here, you can actually feel it's quite warm. And this is the secret to the mountain ringlet's survival. It spends most of its life buried deep in these tussocks. With most butterflies, if you walk through a meadow on an overcast day, you'll put them up, you'll disturb them, and they'll fly up in front of you. Not so the mountain ringlet. It buries itself so deep in this grass on a bad day, like today, that you really can't disturb it at all. So you've got to sit up on a mountain top in conditions like this, waiting for a patch of sunlight, because as soon as the sun shines, those mountain ringlets will emerge. They'll come out and they'll open up their brown wings and bask in the sunshine for as long as it's there. Then sure enough, the mist cleared and the first sunshine warmed the distant hills. In no time, it had reached grey knots and the mat grass began to stir. the mountain ringlets emerge from deep within the tussocks to soak up some rare sunshine. They're attractive butterflies, chocolate brown with a row of bright orange spots along the wing margins, although there's a good deal of variation in the brightness and the number of spots. In common with many other butterflies, these eye spots are designed to divert predatory birds from attacking the more vulnerable body of the insect.